Hello and welcome to this cryptocurrency technical analysis where in two days video I'm going to be going over the Bitcoin chart here and the downtrends that we are seeing and I'm going to be answering the many many questions that I've received this morning of is this a good time to buy and are we looking to buy the fear and get a bounce or is this the start of another major downtrend and we are actually going to be seeing much much lower prices in the very near future. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. I'm going to be blocking out the news. You're going to just be seeing so much fear, uncertainty and doubt today. There's a lot of fear in the markets red across the board. All the cryptocurrency red, the commodity market red. You're seeing the stock market red. So a lot of fear this morning. And uh, natural as um, you know, I woke up this morning. I looked at my brokerage and this is the first notification I got. Uh, so uh, stock market tumbles as Beijing COVID-19 outbreak sparks fear of resurgence. So naturally you know millions of people also are going to receive this from their stock markets broker and um it's going to be a lot of fear there's going to be people really really fearful this morning so naturally prices have been pushed lower initially here but the question is are we going to get a bounce is this a good time to buy or you know are you better off sticking with this trend and, and looking for lower prices so i'm going to block out the news naturally we only trade the charts we only trade the technicals that's how you make money in this market you do not make money trading from emotions or fear or anything like this so let's block that out before I go over exactly how I'm trading this right now, I want to cover the how we got to this step so you can learn educationally from this analysis too. So uh, this was a this is obviously a bearish harmonic pattern. OK, so a bearish Gartley harmonic. And naturally, when you hit point D, you expect a sell off. And this is what I was giving to the champions group back on Saturday morning. OK, so back on Saturday morning, looking for the push up at D. OK, and obviously you look for the point D and then you expect, you know, it's a sell off. And obviously you had the monthly as a key level there. And what I want to use, this is, is highlighting patience. Patience, patience, patience. So important when you're trading, okay? Because imagine that you were short in here. You, you had no idea that the harmonic was even here. You know, many people aren't aware of these sort of things. So many people would be shorting at this level. Okay, so if we zoom in and, and, and think in the time, you know, if you are short in here, okay, many people will off. When you're short in here, where's your stop loss going to be? It's probably going to be back above the last high, isn't it? So you're thinking to yourself, I'm going to short here. I'm going to place my stop here. And if you're not aware of this harmonic, guess what happened? We ran the stops. And then as soon as you run the stops, then you get the, you know, you get the dump in price and you get the sell off. So this is highlighting patience. You've got to wait for the patience for the patterns to play out. And obviously that pattern played out absolutely perfectly because as soon as you hit point D to almost the dollar, almost the dollar I was giving this one, you hit it to the basically the dollar and then you set off straight away to the monthly. And then this is where it's really like standard lovely technical analysis from the obviously hitting that monthly there, which was, you know, pretty, 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 you know, pretty close. You get the bounce off of the monthly into now lower high, lower high. So you obviously then get your bounce into a lower high, lower low, lower high, lower low lower high, lose the monthly, back test the monthly, sell off again. That's standard technical analysis, isn't it? Looking at market structure, bearish market structure going into a flat resistance. You obviously are going to look for the sell off again. And that's what you get. OK, that is how you got to this point, all starting from that bearish Gartley. OK, with then the lower highs onto the monthly, losing the monthly, back testing it. And then obviously big, big sell off going into the lows this morning. I've, I'm, I'm pretty tired because I've been up since 4 a.m. trading this one. And what you can see is uh, this, this is what I was saying to my group this morning. This was around 6 a.m. Well, while you were at around $9,180. And uh, I was saying like the reaction off of 9200 here, this sort of region, 9200, 9150, has been very weak. There's nobody wanting to step in and buy. So if there's no one going to want to, to buy at these levels, what are you looking? Well, I was saying it was highly likely that we would loan, look for the low. And obviously what I mean by looking for the low is looking for the low back here. So just like up here, I wanted to run these highs. What I'm, was I was expecting is to run these lows before you get any form of reaction. Because here there was no buying interest. E.g., there's, there's, you definitely don't want to look to buy here. Well, you're, you're pretty dumb if you buy up here. And then so you get that extra sell off and then you do take the lows, you get some buying interest and you're getting a bounce underway. So this is like leaving us now in the moment of uh, I'll give you a few really key tips here. Keep your eye on the ES. OK, so keep your eye on the stock market today. This currently has just gone a really classical support, support, resistance flip, mini, mini sell off. But nevertheless, that's where your current resistance is clear as day. Um, so the correlation between the stock market and cryptocurrency right now is, is massive, especially Bitcoin. So keep your eye on this. There's this is kind of a gold mine. So do not do not forget about this correlation. Um, that's all I would say on that, because if if this starts to pull back more heavily here, then naturally Bitcoin's probably likely going to follow and uh, pull pull back as more as well, because the correlation's really high. Um, 
So I would say definitely keep your eye on the stock market today. Obviously, the Monday open is going to be in around three, four hours time, 2.30 in England. So, you know, we can keep our eye on Monday open which is probably going to get an initial sell off. But then we can see, you know, the amount of, you know, I'd be uh, especially on cryptocurrency, Bitcoin, I'd be keeping my eye on the open interest of how we actually pull back and, um, you know, the volume in these pullbacks. Those are for me some key levels as you approach your reference levels like the Fibonacci 618 levels, etc. But, uh, you know, I'd definitely, definitely big tip of the day. Keep your eye on this correlation. It's, it's just been insane since the whole sell off. You know, they've, they've been so, 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 so similar. And obviously yesterday, uh, what you had was, uh, you know, the, the open of this and then you got a really weak bounce and then another, another sell off. And that was also similar to Bitcoin uh, where you got, you know, you got the bounce on Bitcoin. But then because there was so much weakness in the stock market, Bitcoin just put in the lower high and sold off once more. So this is how you could have foreseen it was not a good time to buy, you know, up here or anything like this because there was just so much weakness in the stock market and foreseeing how that was going to open this morning, um, you know, or last night and then continuation through the night <laughs> into the what we're looking for for the Monday open in a few hours time. There's a lot of weakness, isn't there? So naturally, you got you got to say it's, it was more likely that we were going to sell off. So. You know, um, you know, then that leaves us then to what we're in here. And as you can see on the five minute time frame, we have actually this is the old channel. which has just been just been so brilliant. We obviously have back tested that and we held it here and you're getting a little bounce and you could be putting in here another higher low and, you know, pushing up for higher levels. So I'm going to give you some key support and resistances. OK, so I'm not going to tell you how to trade this, but I'm going to give you the levels and then you can make your own decision. Um, so basically what you have is a key resistance up here all the way up at 9,339. So 9,339 key resistance. And I would say 9,550 really key support. And those are your intermediate resistance and support levels. Obviously, through that, it's the same levels that I've given you time and time again. You're going to be looking up to it. 9,800, 9,500 are your intermediate slash longer term resistances. And then really, you got this 8,550 all the way down to around 8,200, I would say. Um, obviously, if you start approaching those levels this time, it's, it's pretty bearish uh, because of the fact we're in an overall distribution schematic. Or in my opinion, we're in an overall distribution schematic. But I mean... That's how you're currently, you know, you've got, you, you know, there's no need to be ultra fearful. I, I wouldn't be like ultra bearish, ultra fearful at, at all at the moment. There's there's opportunities here for longs. And, you know, if you if you don't like sculpt trading, I suppose, then you might not want to take these longs. But I personally love to sculpt trade. So, <laughs> you know, I have taken a sculpt long this morning. Um, but, you know, this is the thing. When there's so much fear in the market, you can make, you can, you can buy into this fear and, and, you know, get quick gains to the upside. But then, you know, flipping the, those longs into shorts is obviously sensible um, until you sort of see some real strength in the market. What you do have down here is a lot of trap longs. So, you, you know, you're, you're on several, several, several million trap longs at the, at the low of the wick here. But really, for me to accept bets, some higher follow through, I do. I would personally really like to see some actual uh, for more bigger follow through on the, on the ES. And um, whether this happens on Monday on on the open in a, in a few hours time, I would say that's the most likely, in my opinion. I think it's the most likely that Bitcoin ranges here for the next few hours as we approach. Um, the stock market, US market open. So that's how that's what my game plan is at the moment. I'm scope trading. And then I'm really ready for the for the US market opening uh, about three, three, four hours time. OK, it's going to be lovely. Uh, so I am looking forward to that thoroughly. And in the meantime, just taking a, you know, a few little scope trades on Bitcoin. But, you know, um, you know that, that's my perspective on this market. So I guess final words here is you're going to see this week is going to be filled with a lot of fear. OK, there's a, it's all across the markets. OK, so it's going to be a lot of fear. I would say you don't need to be overly bearish. Don't get overly bearish. Don't get emotional. Don't get scared. Trade the chart for what it is. And, you know, if, in fact, we are going to see a pullback, well, the charts are going to show us that. OK, we're going to see support lost. We're going to see support resistance flips, just like you saw that, you know, locally on the monthly before the, before you go move down. Like the technical analysis is really honestly well respected here. So there's no need to get ultra bearish while you hold supports. Obviously, if you lose supports and it becomes really bearish, doesn't it? So, um. Yeah, that, that's my analysis for you and hope that you've enjoyed this one. Um, obviously, if you're looking for more live streams, uh, more like instant updates like this, obviously, uh, last night I done a live stream where you can see some of the comments here. You know, people making big gains after be giving them that correlation last night and, you know, highlighting the weakness. And I was telling my team last night, you know, I'm in a short position. I'm expecting lower prices. That's exactly what happened. I also done another live stream this morning. So there was a live stream last night and I've already done a live stream this morning and where I'm actually like telling them exactly how I'm trading this. So 
If you're interested in those sort of updates, and you know, primarily the function of the group is learning educationally. So if you're interested in the, you know, the trading updates as well as primarily like learning exactly how we're trading these charts, okay, marking out these levels and then actually executing the trades, then um, you know, you can come across to Chart Champions and you know, more than welcome to have you in the team, uh, because it's gone extremely well. This trade is this chart is trading exactly as one would have expected. Uh, all, obviously, all starting from this lovely, lovely, lovely bearish harmonic, just just beautiful. It really is. So. Um, yeah, I hope that you've enjoyed this update. I have explained how we got to this level, how we, you know, then took the lows, you got the bounce off of the lows, the channels, and then some key, really honestly, key support resistance levels. If you break key resistances, you then expect the next higher resistance. It's quite bullish. If you break key supports, then obviously it's a bit more bearish and you expect to the lower supports. You know, really, really simple that is, isn't it? So uh, currently you have this local support, obviously, of the channel high which is around 9,065. 9, 9, so, um, you know, that that's how I'm currently looking at this. Um, yeah, I think that's the update then for today. I uh, hope that you've enjoyed it. If you have enjoyed it, I would thoroughly appreciate a like down below. And never, uh, um, you know, if, if you've enjoyed it, give a like. If you haven't, then, you know, feel free to give a dislike. That's that's your decision. Uh, but I would appreciate some, some feedback if you'd also like to do that. So um, thank you once again. Hope that you've enjoyed this analysis. Look forward to the US stock market open. That's going to be greatly, highly volatile in a few hours' time. Stick around for that. Don't miss it. And, you know, enjoy the trading. So, cheers, everybody. Thanks and goodbye.